Hi there. Hi, I have a guest today again. It's uh, Jan Kunscher. Hi, Jan. Hi, Martin. Uh, thanks for being with me. Um, what are we going to be talking about today? So we are talking about the project archiver for Jira. Which is um, this page, and we also have a marketplace page, which we will show. Uh, what does the project archiver for Jira do? So um, it's a plugin for Jira, uh, which empowers you to uh, identify uh, projects um, which are maybe not uh, in use anymore. Yeah? And uh, yeah, the second step is, of course, to archive them. Or maybe you don't want to archive them, but only freeze them. Maybe you want also to bulk edit uh, several um, projects. Um, yeah, that is uh, what the uh, Project Archive for Jira can do for you. And it's actually something that we have built out of a active need of several customers, right? Um, and it wasn't available on the marketplace, so um, now it is. Um, uh, why don't you show us real quick um, where I can find it on the marketplace, and maybe we you show us really quick what, what it costs, yeah, and sure. then we can see uh, how the features work. Sure. So first of all, um, we show you our uh, knowledge base, and here you can see uh, the documentation for our project archiver. Mm -hmm. So um, if we click here on this link, um, you will see the documentation. Just wait a second. So searching for Project Archive of Jira on Google will probably get me there. Yes. There's a German and a English version of the documentation available. That's right. right. Yeah. Um, and then there's also this marketplace uh, entry, which means that I can install the plugin directly from within Jira and try it out for 30 days. Correct. Yeah. Um, uh, what do we? Pull up the pricing real quick as well. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, is it a touch screen? Yes, it's oh. a touch screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we had a lot of trouble because uh, this is 4K, right? The yes. resolution. <laughs> so, so it was so tiny, and I said, "Oh, no way! We're going to show this in the video. No one will, will be able to to view what what's there in letters." Ah, okay, it's a touch screen. So right now we are um, uh, in the marketplace and. Um, uh, yeah, here you see the the pricing, which is um, yeah, like you can see, very moderate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so moderate pricing. Um, let's see what it can do, whether yeah. it's useful or not. Okay, um, definitely it's it's useful. So um, uh, what we see right now is um, uh, Jira. We are now in the administration uh, front end, and uh, here under add-ons, um, you will find the project archiver. Here you can see it, and um, yeah. Um, here you can see the configuration side this is the only um, uh, yeah site that you will see. Uh, maybe uh, one thing um, you all you, you just have to install the project archiver. No configuration is needed at all. You can just directly, for example, archive projects. Mm -hmm. And if we later see um, workflow schemes or notification schemes that all come with the plugin, right? Yeah, that's right. So um, we provide you with uh, two um, profiles. We call it profiles. Um, one is the archive project profile, and the other one is the freeze project pro uh, profile. And they, those, uh, those profiles come with new schemes. That means new permission schemes and so on. So even the, uh, you, you don't have to uh, create or edit them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So basically, what I go in, I, I um, install the plugin, I look at um, this configuration screen or this administration um, screen, yes. and then I see projects that I may want to freeze or archive. Yeah. Can you show me um, by telling from the table how you do that? Of course. So um, here at the bottom, you see um, our projects table. Um, with several cool information. So, for example, you see all the project names, of course, and the keys. Um, so, here you can see the number of issues within uh, those projects. And the most important indicator is um, when was the last project activity? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what, what does this mean? It's um, so if you, for example, create an issue, it's a new activity, or if you change a status, or uh, you, uh, maybe you edit or create a new comment, uh, those are activities. So if you see that a project uh, was last used maybe 2014, yeah, 
um, then uh, the chance is really high that you can actually archive this project. And uh, the goal is to kind of clean up my instance. So it's right. polluted with hundreds of projects, with thousands of issues, yeah. and people get overwhelmed by, for example, the search results that they get when they exactly. search, or the, the amount of issues that they get when they try to filter in the issue navigator. And what you're trying to do is just hide away all the stuff that they don't need. Yes. And uh, with the project lead, you give me a contact that I can go internally uh, to and say, look, there's this awesomely old project. Don't you want me to freeze that for now or directly archive that? Um, could you like open this this profile again so sure. that we can explain what it actually means? Sure. So um, like I already said, uh, Project Archiver comes with two profiles. Uh, and actually, you can create as many profiles as you like yeah, for every use case that you that you are in need. And I will first show you um, the archive project profile. You have to click here on uh, this I icon. And now you see um, of what this profile consists. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, so we see several um, drop downs. And for example, um, of course, the profile, um, the profile name. If you want, you can also um, create a, a, a name prefix. So this will um, change the project name, not the key, but the name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I learned in the German version that this is helpful for um, sorting. So if you use these brackets, for example, it's going to end uh, on the very bottom, which is probably. I, I will show it in a minute uh, when we when we'll create an uh, all new profile, mm -hmm. uh, because here it is uh, oh, not allowed. Yeah. yeah. Um, so here you see a project category that you can select and um, all the schemes that are uh, yeah, within JIRA. So um, our uh, plugin comes already with new schemes. So for example, here you see uh, a, a scheme that uh, won't um, send any notifications anymore. Yeah? So um, even if someone changes something, um, it won't send out yes. uh, uh, mails. Yes. Uh, and also, the permission scheme probably involves that only project admins or system administrators of Jira can see the um, project afterwards, and everyone right. else is kind of locked out. Right. So this is a scheme that that we create that we have created, uh, and it, it's uh, it, so it is adjusted that uh, only um, uh, admins can see this project. Mm -hmm. But it's freezing means the old people can still see, but they can't change it. Absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, for example, I will show you um, how to create a new profile. Just um, click on the plus icon. That's all. Um, just fill out a profile name, and um, yeah, I will just call it test. Uh, for uh, we haven't been able to find a better name in German either. So uh, <laughs> test profile. <laughs> so so hey, we, you just start with archiving and freezing your projects. And as soon as you find out how these automations can be used in other use cases, you come back to us and tell us which other uh, profiles and we may really ship cool. yeah. um, <laughs> in the standard. Um, at this point, uh, we have this test profile. But I think it's pretty straightforward, right? I say um, this, is, this goes now in the project category freeze projects or archive projects. Um, the workflow scheme could change. I don't see a real need for that, actually. But, but the permission scheme or the notification scheme is, is pretty nifty. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's also like that's a, a problem that I have with the JIRA a lot. It's, it's a mail bomb. It, it just like sends out so many emails that somehow I have subscribed. But on the other, other hand, I kind of long forgotten that I subscribed to that and I, I don't actually need this mm -hmm. notification. And then um, it's always a fighting with myself. Yep. Should I? Subscribe to less uh, issues, or should I just bear the load? Mm -hmm. And uh, this kind of frees me of at least all the old stuff. Yeah. So the, the problem that uh, Martin is describing um, is very common. So, for example, if many uh, employees um, have the same opinion, yeah, <laughs> uh, or the same situation, um, then um, it would be, um, yeah. It would be good to um, create a new um, notification scheme, which is, which sends out only for, for the for the uh, for the 
most important or for the most important cases sends out a new notification. So we, we build a new scheme and with our project archiver, we can bulk edit all projects at once with this new notification scheme, for example, which is another use case of our plugin. Okay. Yeah. So um, let's get back to the to the profile um, creation. So here, um, for example, you see those um, drop downs, and we can select any workflow scheme that is available in Jira. Yeah, just to go into the drop down, select something. I'm doing it uh, randomly here right now, and uh, yeah, and so on, and so on. And after that, you click on Insert, and your profile is now available here. So I just select this profile. Um, this is important. This means that this profile is now active or activated for our next mm -hmm. archive thing. So if uh, I action. click on archive, this profile will be used. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. So for example, we have um, um, this, this project, Kanban Yam. Uh -huh. And uh, you click on archive. Then, uh, small question, yeah, do you really want to archive it? We say, OK. And then you have to wait a little bit. But and that was only like 10 issues. So that yeah, was, that's really okay. fast. So And that's it. So now this project has already new schemes. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's something that you technically, you could do all of this manually. But if you're doing like this archiving for tens or hundreds of projects, um, it's something that is really cumbersome because uh, here that was pretty quick. We were clicking, and like two or three seconds later, um, there was um, uh, the result. But with a real Jira with real data, if I, if you only change the workflow scheme, it means that Jira will run through the whole project with with maybe we have projects with more than ten thousand issues and change the workflow scheme for each of these issues, yeah. right? And, um, and for the project or make these other changes that you did. So um, doing that in bulk does help me use this uh, kind of boom and Yeah, it saves, um, it saves time, time a lot. Um, this, is, this is a big advantage. Also, something that Jira can give you in, in, in the standard is um, the, our indicator, when was the last project activity? Yeah. yeah. And the amount of issues is also something that I need the navigator yeah. and a jQuery or somewhat thing. OK. Jan, thank you so much for showing that to us. You're if welcome. you have any questions, if you want to buy it, please contact us. Um, if you have feedback, if you have ideas, um, we're uh, absolutely happy to, to learn together with you. Um, it's free to try out. If you have trial, you can do all of this stuff. Yeah, no limitations. And, uh, and, um, any bugs or something that you want to be uh, want, want to have changed, uh, please tell us. Thanks for watching this, and uh, see you soon. Thanks, Jan. Yeah, bye bye.